for the love of mud, you know. I liked playing rugby. As a kid, I was always in the forest with my dad because he was a woodcutter. I worked with him sometimes. And, and this idea always being, and then it suddenly it was like that aha moment when, you know, I started to play around with the clay and think, wow, you know, this is something that I have a really big interest in. So a lot of it's self-taught, a lot of it is trial and error, you know, digging up clays and making, you know, fire pits at home and making my own kilns. Uh, and then it's just sort of snowballed from there, really. My name's Louise Blumeyer and I own Foxed and I make ceramics. I use a combination of wild clay and commercial clay. So the wild clay, I'll gather that in small amounts locally. And um, once the, the clay's ready, I'll then wedge the clay, which aligns all the particles so that I can work with it in slabs. And once the slabs are rolled out with the rolling pin, I can then cut out the sections for the bothies in particular and then they'll be joined together with a, a method that they call slip and score. So that's put together and then the bothies will have two firings in the kiln. And so all in all, they probably take about, I'll say about two weeks from start to finish because there's a lot of drying time involved. Um, the bothies themselves, sometimes they have an element of wild clay in them and other times they're just, it's just commercial clay, which I buy locally as a single parent, you just no time, you have no money. I ended up digging in a wood for wild clay. It was free, nobody was gonna charge me for it. It's such a barrier to a lot of artists is, um, you know, the, the time and the money. Seen SDX on social media and it just sounded, as, as soon as I saw it, I just thought, that's just perfect, you know, that is just the perfect way to to go about selling. I think it's about five, maybe six years I've been with SDX and year on year things have got busier for me. You know, I've had to um, expand a little bit, but obviously not to the point because I want to stay small. You know, this is, it's a, it's a lifestyle as well. You know, being able to, to afford the things that you need to live, but also to be able to create your, your artwork. Through SDX I've, certainly had a lot of outside interest uh, through, I've had quite a few commissions that I've followed through and completed. Met some customers, some really lovely customers that I still work with today who often commission things. Yeah, it's a really good, um, a good way to network as well, through for, certainly for your customers and other artists as well. You know, I've managed to meet quite a, uh, a number of other artists in this area and further up north so that's been really nice. The biggest thing about SDX is probably the fact that it is local and it gives the people around that live in Scotland you know that opportunity to be able to sell to people who come to Scotland specifically for those Little, curio little curious things or, or just the design element or, you know, they want Scottish, they, they don't want, you know, they don't want made in China, which, it, yeah, I think that's probably the biggest thing. <laughs>